hello friends uh, welcome to my channel debug well and in this video tutorial we'll learn web config and its transforms web.config file is the application's configuration file it is typically used to configure an asp.net web application and define configuration settings for the web application when you are develop application for instance you want to point it to a local database so you need a connection string but when you actually deploy your application this connection string will be different and this information goes in web.config file there are other configurations also that we can put in the web.config file now let's see what a web.config transforms a web.config transformation file contains xml markup that specifies how to change the web.config file when it is deployed like i said in the development phase you have a different web.config file when your product goes to live you have a different web config file let's quickly see how the config file looks like and how we can create different transforms let's flip to visual studio so this is a small uh, web application and uh, this is how a config file looks like suppose we want to create two transforms for this application for that we'll go to this drop down go to configuration manager click on this drop down click on new and give the name as testing click ok again go to this drop down click on new and let's give it as live click ok so now if we go to the drop down we can see we have a live and we have a testing if we go to web.config here in the solution explorer we still do not see the web transform that we have created for that right click and click on add config transform as soon as you do this you can see there is a live config transform and testing web.config that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll see how we can transform web.config file for different environment please click on like subscribe thank you